she stripped in front of me and I started to panic because I <laughs> didn't know what to do. Hi, I'm Kelvin. I'm a portrait artist and a major part of my portfolio is nude photography. I started as a wedding photographer for about three to four years and I wondered my photographs can be simplified into just a simple gown, maybe just a drape over the body without any heavy makeup. Would I be able to express the photos in a way that when you look at the photos, you'll feel that I am beautiful instead of I look so beautiful in this gown. Uh, I look so beautiful in this location. My first experience wasn't that awkward because I asked a couple which I have just photographed for a pre-wedding shoot. The awkward session was the second one. Firstly, I wasn't that experienced and when the shoot started, she stripped in front of me and I started to panic because I didn't know what to do. I wanted to run away but <laughs> I just tell myself to uh, deal with it. Yeah, it, it was from there that I, that I learned that nude photography isn't just about uh, shooting a woman's curves. It's a lot more than that. At the beginning, I didn't expect it, but it was very difficult. It still is very difficult. My partner has always been supportive and I feel very lucky. She understands exactly why I'm doing this and how I do it. In fact, her presence helps to assure many of our female clients that we are safe for example, when the client or the model uh, has to remove her clothes, I'll move to a corner, hidden, while my partner helps her to remove her clothes, help her to adjust the drape around her body and get her into a very comfortable pose. And she'll tell me, okay, everything is ready, then I will appear. Hi, I'm Janice and I do nude modeling for Kevin. Being shot by a male and female, it's the way they look at the model is very different and how comfortable they make you feel is also very different. So being male but he has his wife on his side, you know, to help him out which makes the whole experience really easy to do, you know. It's fun, he makes me laugh and capture the beautiful side of me. I like it a lot. I ask myself like if a woman or a man were to remove their clothes in front of me, would I be able to express their beauty in a respectful way? I believe mainly because people see a photograph of a naked woman and they relate a male photographer, they put it together and they imply something sexual. The fact is that I'm a professional, I'm doing this as a livelihood, I have mouths to feed and in many ways I bear a bigger risk than the person in front of me. Sensual shoots are expensive in general because of the skills and experience required. There was a session where a couple came without the intention of anything sexual. They had just met, they had just started a very intimate relationship and they just wanted beautiful memories while they are still so passionate. As the shoot went on, they felt so comfortable that they started making love. And it was, it was really beautiful. The shoot was both passionate and intense. It totally wasn't choreographed. And for people to share something so private and intimate with me, it is it's something that I really cherish and I feel very privileged. The most important thing to remind myself all the time is to show the client that I am a highly qualified professional. Some were appreciative, some said they were tastefully done. But there were many who said things like, why are you doing this? Is it porn or is it... What is it? So there were questions like this that made me feel very, very uncomfortable. It's a, it's a common question, like, should I wax? Is really your preference? Because it really is your preference. Some come shaved, some without shave, some shave with uh, very interesting shapes. Most of the time we see photos of perfect bodies, of hourglass figures, curls at the right places. But normally the curves are all over the place. Some may be comfortable with a scar. Some may not. Some will want to totally hide it. There was a woman who came in with her family, her husband, and a life support machine. She couldn't do more than a few shots without going breathless and going back to the machine. It is not the emotion that I, I could express. 
it is a session that I tell myself that I have to still enjoy. I cannot forget uh, how happy she was when we went to the hospital and showed her the photos. And a few weeks later, she passed on. That was when I realised that my work meant something. At the end of the day, I hope that the client feels beautiful about themselves, feels that they are beautiful without any heavy makeup, without trying to be someone else. They are beautiful just be by themselves. Hi, I'm Kelvin. I'm a portrait artist and this is why I do what I do.